Hey everybody, I'm back again, and I was going to continue my using leftover uh, series with this meatloaf that I made yesterday. And we had quite a bit of it, as you could see. And what I'm going to do is slice off a couple of pieces of meatloaf. And it wasn't as big as I wanted it to be, but that's all right. Put this down here where I can work with it. <laughs> We're going to put two slices on it. I don't know if I'm going to cut that one or not. We're going to try. There's a piece. That'll be mine because it's coming off in pieces. And another piece off of this here. We'll cut it down to size. Big sandwich. Now here's the here's the twister. I'm going to take my leftover mashed potatoes. And first, I'm going to put some mustard on my bread. And with mine, I'm going to add some ketchup. And with Tom's, we're going to add some mayo. And I'll mix his on first. Oops. That's quite a bit. We're going to spread that out. Slide this over here. And then put some on this side. Okay. So we got both sides of our bread done. Wipe that off. And spread out my ketchup and mustard. Again, take it up. Transfer the meat to that size. Should have had that done before I started, but you know. I don't always think it's real straight. Okay. Here's the kicker. I'm going to take my leftover potatoes and I'm going to lay them right down on that bread and smash them out. And that mustard and ketchup is going to make those taste a little bit like potato salad. And Tom's is really going to taste like it with the mayo and the, and the mustard. Spread them out a little bit more that and then put that right down on top and there you have my version of a meatloaf sandwich it's the way I love to eat them and I love having leftover potatoes to go on them if I don't have the potatoes I you know just eat the meatloaf but that is a good sandwich. It's a good tasting sandwich, and it's very filling because it's a big one. So we're going to cut these in half and uh, get a couple of plates. Get that up. Put them on some plates, and I want you to see that. Then we're going to add some chips to it. And that is lunch today. 
just that quick. Wonderful to have a leftover meatloaf. And this was not my favorite rendition of a meatloaf that I made. But I tell you, kids, after it's set, that all the flavors combined, and it was absolutely delicious. And Tommy and I have ate half a cake. So, you know, <laughs> way too much cake, but it was out of this world. <laughs> it was fabulous. So anyway, I won't keep you on here long. I just wanted you to see that this is uh, only one way that you can use the leftover meatloaf. You can make casseroles out of this. You can do a lot of things with this. And I probably will if my kids don't come down and want to take some of it home. So I will talk to you later. And thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't. And uh, I'll be back to bring you more in, the, in a few days. Bye-bye for now.